I just wanted to bring you a video. This one is totally unrehearsed. There's just a lot going on in the real estate space, as you may have heard, especially in the past couple of days. I'm gonna give you the three things I really think you need to understand about the case, regardless of what you've heard or what you are hearing in the news. <laughs> My name is Gordon Hegman with Arizona One Real Estate with Real Broker. I'm located here in the Gilbert Queen Creek area, which is a suburb of Phoenix. Um, but I just wanted to bring you the information and I have notes here because I really didn't want to leave anything out um, and do want to make it as brief as possible. Um, but there's a case out there. It's been out there uh, in the Department of Justice. It's an ongoing case. Uh, basically revolving around real estate commissions. Um, anyways, as of Friday, the National Association of Realtors actually put out a settlement, which keep in mind in this case, that settlement still needs to be approved by the court. Uh, so you may have been seeing a, a lot of headlines floating around out there, you know, that the real estate, the 6% real estate commission is dead. Uh, real estate agents are going away and some really flashy headlines like that. And I know in some past videos, um, I still, and I really still think it rings true that the uh, headlines are there to terrify, not always to clarify. Uh, they're there to get eyeballs, eyeballs, they can sell uh, advertising dollars. Um, so I'm really gonna try to, like I said, give you a really unbiased opinion. I'm not gonna get into my opinions about the case my opinions about what we should or shouldn't do. Um, but just like I said, as I see these uh, headlines and stories keep floating around out there, um, and I've read through a little bit of uh, what's going on in the case, and wherever you're watching this, um, I will put a link that you can actually go to uh, basically an information page, which you can read the whole 109 page settlement. You can watch videos on it. You can even, they even have more of a uh, detailed summary if you don't want to read through all of it. But I'll get to those three main things kind of near right near the end of the video. Uh, but just want to start off by, I think the great thing about where we live in the United States is that everybody is allowed to share their opinion, uh, regardless if you agree with it or not, what you're hearing, whether it's true or it's false. Um, you know, we can share our opinions. Um, and that's one thing that I think uh, a lot of people are doing, especially the, the media as well. So I just wanted to kind of bring that uh, in line and up to date as well. I um, just want to start off with some other facts. Even before uh, this case really hit headlines big, especially the last week since Friday, uh, you as the real estate consumer, you have always been able to buy or sell a home without the use of a real estate agent. So you've never been required to hire somebody to help you sell your house. Um, you know, hence why you have in the past and still currently and even moving forward, you do see for sale by owner uh, sales out there. And like I said, many of those actually close very uh, seamlessly and with the results that everybody wants. So that's the first thing. You've never been required to hire anybody to help you buy or sell a house. Uh, the second thing is you've never been required to pay a set industry standard to a real estate agent uh, when you buy or sell a house. Um, and I know with one of the big headlines, it says there, you know, the 6% real estate commission is dead or something like that. Um, the thing is, though, I think, you know, that standard, that's really something I think the news and maybe some consumers are hanging on to uh, because in the documents that I have um, with the few brokerages I have been with in my career, um, even with anything that I've gotten from the National Association of Realtors, there is nothing in them that says anything about a standard 6% commission. Uh, in the 13 years that I have been doing this, commissions are always 100% negotiable uh, between the uh, seller's agent and the listing agent. And, and that's just the way it's always been. There's really been no change there. Uh, I just wanna maybe kind of put this into uh, context before I get into those three, uh, three things that this case involves. Um, 
you know, you as a consumer, if you've ever had to go to court, there is no law out there that says you have to hire an attorney to represent you. You can actually self-represent in court, believe it or not. Um, obviously not always recommended, um, but when you do hire an attorney, you can interview as many attorneys as you want. And in the end of the day, you're going to pick the attorney that you feel is going to best help you get the result that you want at the cost that you believe is fair for their services. And um, kind of another thing I was thinking even just like, if your car breaks down, you, know, you can go out and fix your car yourself, but a lot of times you may not be mechanically inclined to do so or really have the knowledge to do it right. There are a whole bunch of auto shops out there that can fix your car. And from there, you can choose whatever auto shop or whatever mechanic you like that's going to get you the result that you want at the price that you want. So I just wanted to kind of put those into context, even if you kind of look at that with the real estate, uh, the real estate agent and real estate seller and buyer model. Uh, you can hire any agent you want. You can negotiate any fee you want, as long as both of you agree on that fee. And really it comes down to what you believe is fair uh, for what that uh, real estate agent or whatever you're doing in life, what the service they're providing you. So let's jump into it. The three things that are you know, really being misrepresented in the news. And if you really wanna know what the headlines say, there's a whole bunch of them. Just Google probably real estate uh, court case or something of that nature. It'll pull it up front page for you in Google. But a lot of those, uh, they're saying really just headlines there to uh, terrify, not clarify. So let's jump into it. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that in this settlement, it's basically, it's called, it's more or less called a decoupling of the real estate commission. And the easiest way to explain that is right now in most places, and I'll just speak specifically to here to Arizona, when you are selling a house, you pay your listing agent a set commission that you both agreed on. And then that agent then pays a cooperating buyer's agent a, a set amount that everybody's agreed on as well. So right now the commission uh, money more or less flows from seller to seller's agent to buyer. And that's how it goes. Uh, with this recommended proposal, uh, it, it you know, basically it's just the way that compensation is going to be paid is going to change and hence a decoupling a couple being together decoupling being apart uh in the new model like i said still being proposed has not been settled on yet so there's no rules or regulations or anything regarding this yet um, as when you are watching this video today um, but moving forward should this be approved the seller of the home will agree upon a commission they are willing to pay their listing agent and they will then agree to a to compensation on what they might want to pay a buyer's agent. Um, and the realistic thing is right now, the current model, you can do the same thing. So more or less, just the way commissions are paid is going to be changed. Uh, the next thing is that real estate commissions can no longer be advertised in the MLS. So I think that's the important part that I think might be getting misconstrued out there. It is that, that real estate agents or real estate commissions, excuse me, are not going away. They just can't be advertised in the multiple listing service. So they can still be advertised, just not in the multiple listing service. And the third thing I think you really need to understand, um, if you are a buyer, out there are going to be a buyer. And most of this, if it goes into effect, you're probably looking at about a July, 2024 effective date. Buyers are going to need to enter into a compensation and representation agreement with their buyer's agent before they look at homes. And, you know, that's still to be determined. Like I said, this just came out Friday, a few, a uh, few days ago. So all the details in that have not be ironed, been ironed out. So really the three things you need to understand, Real estate commissions, the way they are paid is going to be changed. Uh, real estate commissions can no longer be advertised in the multiple listing service. And if you are a buyer, you will need to enter into almost just like a seller uh, goes into a listing agreement with a listing agent. Buyers will need to become uh, into some type of contract with a buyer's agent before they can go look at houses. So the three things you really need to know, like I said, wherever you're watching this, we'll put a link where you can go read all the details for yourself so you can get really the true 
you know, see the true settlement and what's being proposed out there. So you really understand, um, you know, with this two cents Friday, uh, my phone emails, text messages, been blowing up from past clients, uh, from other agents that I know from here locally or around, you know, around the United States, or even some people I haven't done business with in the past. I think three things that you really need to understand also about this. And in this settlement, there is no language in the settlement that real estate commissions are going down, that they're going up, that they're going away. There's nothing about the amount of commission dollar. It's going to dictate what you can and cannot pay. The, the free market is going to dictate and you as the consumer are going to dictate what you want to pay. And obviously the person that you are doing business with that's going to help you with the real estate transaction. You both have to agree that that is a fair value for the services being rendered. So that was one thing um, that I'm, hey, are, are they going away? No, no language in this that they're going away. Um, they're also, you know, oh, can I, can I, can I, do I not, can I not use a real estate agent? No, you can still use a real estate agent. No language in there that says real estate agents are going away. And I know I've seen some other stories, you know, our oh, home, this is going to tank home values. It's going to affect home values. You know, there's a slight possibility it may, but the value of real estate or any other commodity really comes down to the market. It's what the market is willing to bear, um, basically supply and demand. That's what dictates the value of your home. Real estate commissions are not going to uh, really dictate or have much influence on the value of your home. So anyways, like I said, this is not a super rehearsed video. I just want to get the information out there. I just, I felt obligated uh, just to get real information out there to you if you're seeing this video just so you understand what you're hearing from your friends what you're seeing on the news that way you can just be better educated about what's going on but anyways my name is gordon hagman arizona one real estate here uh, at real broker here in uh, gilbert queen creek more in the phoenix metropolitan area uh, if you have any questions about this case just want to chat have any questions about real estate what's going on any way, shape or form. Would love to have a, a conversation with you just so you can be better informed. Until the next video, thanks for watching.